On Friday, American teen Skylar Mack arrived in Atlanta, Georgia, after spending 32 days in a Cayman Islands prison for breaking the territory's mandatory quarantine. This was the first time the 18-year-old stepped foot on U.S. land since traveling to the Cayman Islands in November. The college student and her boyfriend, Vanjay Ramjeet, were sentenced to two months in prison after Mack broke the government's strict 14-day quarantine. The couple served about half the sentence. According to a statement, the government approved the couple's applications for pre-discharge leave. Laws in the Cayman Islands allow a conditional release when a person is 30 days away from the date of that prisoner's anticipated discharge, according to the island's prison law. The Cayman Islands have reported 380 cases and two deaths since the start of the pandemic, according to a tracker on their government website. Since her release from prison, Mac has said her actions were selfish. Mac arrived at Grand Cayman Island on November 27, where she was required to quarantine for 14 days, as Insider previously reported. But two days into the quarantine, Mac removed the government-issued tracking device to attend a jet skiing competition her boyfriend was competing in. According to the couple's attorney, Jonathan Hughes, police were called to the competition when organizers were notified that Mac had broken the quarantine. Mac was charged with leaving her home during the strict 14-day quarantine, and her boyfriend was charged with aiding and abetting. Initially, Mac and Ramji were sentenced to community service and a $2.600 fine each. But the Cayman Islands Director of Public Prosecutions, Patrick Moran, filed a notice of appeal that the sentences were unduly lenient. The court ruled in favor of Moran, and on December 15 the couple was resentenced to four months in prison. After Mac received the four-month sentence, Mac's grandmother urged President Donald Trump to help. The couple appealed the case, and on December 22, they were resentenced to two months in prison. On January 15, both Ramjeet and Mac were released from custody. Ramjeet is from the Cayman Islands, and Mac boarded a plane home the same day. Since being released from prison, Mac has apologized for her actions. It was a selfish decision. There's no reason that I can give you to grant me a second chance. I don't expect anybody to ever forgive me, but I would like for them to at least let me be able to show them that I did learn from it," Mac told, Good Morning America. Mac went on to say that the anger and disappointment directed towards her are, justified. I deserved it. I was like, you know what, I made this mistake, and it sucks, you know, but you did it to yourself, Mac told GMA. Meanwhile, Mac's grandmother told ABC News she is glad to have her granddaughter home. It's the biggest relief. I finally slept through the night, the grandmother said.